Welcome back, readers. Of course, I think you know by now, but I'm Miss Maxella, and I teach third grade at Manor Elementary. I hope you've been having an amazing day so far. We are going to be starting lesson three today, which is finding just right books. This is a very important lesson and a great way to kick off the beginning of the year. So today I want to teach you, readers don't just pluck any old book off a shelf and settle down with it. Readers have to test books. They look at them carefully, opening them up and reading just a few lines, asking themselves, is this book just right for me? So adding to our anchor chart to make reading the best it can be, I will. We want to go over these always because these are great strategies. Find a good reading spot. Talk about books. Choose books I love, read books like they're gold, and then the one that we're focusing on today, which is always going to be the larger one, check that books are just right and within reach. So when a reader wants to test a book, she tries it, just like Goldilocks tried her porridge, if you can remember that story she went and she tried each bear's porridge the reader opens up the book reads a little bit and then asks can i read the book smoothly and easily is it just right or are there so many hard words that i can't really read smoothly or on the other hand is the book too easy maybe it's so simple that it just doesn't even hold my attention because i'm flying through this book it's super super easy So I'm gonna go over these two charts with you. They're pretty similar, and they're really just a great way to have a resource. And this is in your, your reader's notebook too. If you forget you know, what is too hard, what's too easy, and what's just right, you can always come back to this and use it as a resource because like I said, this is great for you any grade level. This is just a really, really, really great thing to look back at if you forget because hey, you might need to remember um, what's maybe just right. So some signs to watch for when choosing a book. So if it's too hard, it has to read slowly. So that means that you're having to read really, really slow because you're trying to sound out all these words. Maybe you can't really read it with expression because there's so many difficult or tricky words in there that you can't, you know, change your voice to how the character's talking or read smoothly or fast or slow. It's just, you can't really do much at all. You kind of sound like a robot. Um, another sign for it's too hard is you keep getting stuck. And it's not, you know, maybe a couple times on a page. It's about almost every sentence you're getting stuck on a word. Maybe you're reading choppy. So there's that robot reading. Maybe you're missing punctuation at the end because you're just, you know, the book is just really challenging. And then a huge, 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 huge indicator that this book is too hard is going to be that you don't understand it. So after you read a whole page, you really can't think about, ooh, what just happened? Because you just, you don't even know because you've spent your whole reading strength trying to figure out all the words because they were so tricky. So that's a really, really big red flag that, hey, this book is way too hard for me. Um, if it's too easy, again, this one I feel like is probably the easiest one to figure out. But if it's too easy, you're speeding through it. The book feels flat. Like you're just like, wow, um, is anything really going to happen here? This is I'm flying through this and nothing good is really happening. The story is pretty boring stuff like that if the book is too easy for you it's not it's not really getting you to really think about deeper about the story and then if a book is just right sorry i feel like i've i have a really fluffy cat so i've just cat hair everywhere so if you see me just it's because my cat hair is everywhere so if a book is just right these are some really important signs that a book is just right you understand it Maybe you're getting most of the words right. 
um, you're reading it pretty smooth. You're reading with expression and you're reading with punctuation, which means if you forgot what that means, it means that when you see that period, you are pausing, right? If you see that exclamation point, you know that this is either something serious or it's like super exciting and you're changing your voice to match that. And if there's a question mark, of course, we know that we kind of want to sound like we're asking a question. If there's a question like, what's for, din what's for dinner? You don't want to say, what's for dinner, right? So that's what I, what, that's what I mean when we say reading with it with punctuation. And then this little fun chart right next to it, um, kind of, I felt like breaks it down a little bit easier. So if a book is too easy, which sometimes means it's too small, like it's super, super small and you're, someone just picked it up because they're like, I'm going to read through this because this is going to be easy and it's not going to challenge me. I've seen it happen. It happens, but we should really be choosing books for the right reasons. And these are really, really, really important tips to help you do that. And again, it's just building your reading life, boys and girls. So if a book is too easy, it means that the words are too easy to read. I can read almost all of them. Maybe you finish it too quickly. You don't need any help at all. That's how you know it's too easy. If it's just right, you know most of the words but may need a little bit of help. Um, you can understand what's going on in the book because your mind is making that movie, right? And then if it's too hard, words are difficult to, too difficult to read on your own. Maybe you need a lot of help with reading and you're getting really confused. You're not understanding or following the story. So pretty much the same. This one just a little bit more, you know, pops with some color and some pictures and it's always fun. I like fun and color in pictures. So your job today on your own in your own books, again, materials is just your reader's notebook. Um, but you are gonna need something else. Your directions for this today is you are finding three books on Epic, or maybe you already have books around your house that are too hard, too easy, and just right. So you want to find one that's too hard, another one that's too easy, and then a book that is just right for you. But you have to explain why in the chart below. So let me go over this chart for you. You're going to write the book title here. If it's too hard, you're going to write why in that um, little square or rectangle. Sorry, that is not a square. So you're going to write in that rectangle why it's too hard but you don't have to write the other two if this is the too hard book. Then if you have your just right book, you're writing your book title and then writing why it's just right. And then if your last one is the just easy or the too easy book, write your book title and then you're gonna write why it's too easy. So you don't always have to write in each one of these. Make sure you write, you know, it, if it's the too hard, if it's the too easy or if it's the just right. And a super <clears throat> cool, special thing about this slide is if you don't have books around your house, make sure you check with your teacher and see what your Epic code is because you can just click right on this and you'll see the link right there to Epic. And then it'll take you to the website and you'll be able to explore so many books there and figure out which ones are too hard, too easy, and just write. And remember, boys and girls, if you forget, you can just click back to the charts and remember which one's too easy, too hard, and just right. Happy reading.